GitHub has just announced its official dark mode at GitHub Universe 2020. Let's see what it covers and how to enable it. This is the 3 minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service or yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you want to learn more about DevOps, especially with Azure DevOps and GitHub. Just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos like this. Today we talk about the new GitHub Dark theme. In the past you could achieve kind of the same thing using some third-party browser extension or other workaround and tricks, but this is the official one and we will see first how we can enable it and then what it covers and what doesn't. Let's start the clock and get into it. First thing you have to do is go into the settings and in here, you now have this new appearance menu. When you click on it, here is where you're gonna see this new theme selection. The light one in the middle over here is the usual one we are all used to use on GitHub. But now we also have this new dark theme and we can also set to default to the system one. So if I default to system, in my case, I have the dark theme everywhere, so it will go dark. But let's click on the dark theme. And as you can see, everything changed to dark. Enabling it was super easy. Let's see now what it's covered and what isn't. But before, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video. After enabling the dark mode, let's see what is supported and what is not. So as you can see, the initial dashboard is actually supported. You can see it now it's in the dark theme. And if I go to any of my repos, you can see that all the repos are also covered by the new dark theme. And so are the issues and also the issue pages, as you can see here. Pull requests are also covered and pull request pages as well, as well as the actions pages. Projects, wiki, security, insights and settings. So as you can see, basically all the pages inside the repos and all the sections inside the repos are covered by the new theme. If we go over here and issues, again, no big surprise. This is more or less the same page we have seen in the repos. So those are covered as well. However, code spaces, marketplace and explore are not covered. If you go backward, we can see that the explore page is still showing the light theme as well as the marketplace page and for code spaces even though the code spaces selection is covered by the dark theme and so is the different menus but if you're going to create a new code space then as you can see the code space itself the interface of the code space is still in the light theme you see now the code space environment has finished loading and everything is still in the light theme. This will be supported by the dark theme eventually, but it hasn't been released yet. Also, in general, all the pages you can find down here are still not supported. And again, all of those pages will be covered by the dark theme eventually. For the time being, the team released the coverage only for the most used parts, including issues, pull requests, action, and so on and so forth, changed to the new theme. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the new GitHub Dark theme. I know it's still in its early days and it's not perfect and some areas are still out of scope, but I think it's a pretty cool thing anyway. Short, video, short videos. Today we talk about the new guitar. Um, enabling was super easy. What's, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. Oh,